How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike from Poketips, and welcome back to episode 4 of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So last episode, we went through Mount Moon, and today we are continuing our adventure out to Cerulean City, but first we have to go through Route 4, and that means we get a brand new Pokemon. So we've been on Route 4 before, but we were on the west side, and the west side had no encounters, but now we're on the east side, and we'll be able to get an encounter, but first I want to pick up this item ball and see what's inside. Ooh! Five Pokeballs! That could potentially help us out when we try to catch this new guy. So let's go down a little bit and find a new Pokemon. This is so exciting, I love starting off episodes like this with a brand new team member. I hear a Tauros, and I guess that's gonna be our encounter, a Tauros. Tauros or a Ditto? <laughs> wow, this is actually gonna be kind of funny, considering that Tauros basically slaughtered my team before. Now he's coming over to the good side. But yeah, Tauros and a Ditto, I will choose Tauros, and I kind of heard Tauros first, so I think Tauros is the one for me. Alright, so let's get a good throw, and it's gonna go for its attack animation, they always like doing that to me. There we go, excellent throw. Hmm, Tauros, 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 Tauros. I mean, at least it's not weak to water like everything else on my team is. Welcome to the team, Maul the Tauros. I'm just getting like a Darth Maul type vibe from this. Oh, wow, wow, those are some good, that's a good nature and a very good characteristic for this. I like that. So it's gonna be speedy and have strong attack. Right now its moves kind of suck, but wait, do I have any TMs I could teach it? I feel like I can make Tauros pretty good right away. I'm actually kind of excited now seeing Tauros' stats. Headbutt, yes, so it can learn Headbutt. So you know what, I think I'm gonna teach Headbutt to a lot of guys on my team because Headbutt's a pretty strong move early on in the game. And especially on Tauros because Tauros will get that same type attack bonus. So there we go, we'll teach it to Tauros. Let's see, can Maz learn it too? I think it's better than uh, Vice Grip, but I'm never, ever, ever going to use Bind. Bind is kind of terrible, so I'm not going to use that. And I think Dooku. Yeah, I should have taught Headbutt earlier. I could definitely teach it to Dooku, and you know what? I like Stomp on uh, Qui-Gon, so I'll keep it there. But yeah, we'll get rid of Scratch. Scratch isn't going to be doing anything for us. And now I feel like we're going to be a little bit more ready to take on the world of Cerulean City. So let's go to the right. Ooh, Hitmonlee, Zubat, Ditto. Interesting Pokemon over here. Very interesting guys. Ooh, there's another one. But let's head on over to Cerulean City. Oh, I love this music. I use it all the time in my videos. So first off, I'm going to go heal. Oh, wait, maybe not. We're gonna look at the water fountain. Oh, that is a very, very pretty water fountain. Very pretty water fountain. I'm glad the Eevee that's internally boxed likes it. Now, one thing I remember about Cerulean City is Cerulean City is very battle heavy. When I go up to the north, I know my rival, YouTube, is gonna come and try to fight me. And after that last battle, if you guys remember that from episode one, I want to be very prepared for that battle. So I think Qui-Gon and Dooku are doing all right. I would like one more level on Qui-Gon, but Maz and Maul, I want to train them up to maybe like level 16, 17, or 18. So I'm going to do a little bit of training on Route 4 over here, and then we can continue because when we go up north, we have that whole Nugget Bridge, we'll have our rival, so I'm going to level up a little bit, and then we'll jump back into the battles. Okay, so I trained up a little bit, and now Maz is at level 17, Maul's at level 16, Qui-Gon's at 21 and Dooku's at level uh, 23. We got some new moves which are kind of cool. I'm excited to use, uh, I'm really excited to use Maul because I think that Headbutt coming off of its strong attack power is going to do some serious damage. And also, Maz picked up something nice too. Maz now knows Brick Break and has Headbutt instead of a Vice Grip. So we're going to be doing more damage overall and I think going into this rival fight, I'm going to be ready for it. So let me just pick up some uh, potions because Jesse and James wiped us out in Mount Moon. And now we'll be able to pick up some more potions and we'll go into that battle all ready to go. Also, I kind of like how, rest in peace Ahsoka, but I like how Maul kind of does the same thing where I can ride on Maul now. So yeah, let's pick up some potions. Let's make it so we have seven potions. Lucky seven. And what else would we need? Let's get some antidotes maybe. Yeah, we'll get an antidote and we'll get a paralyzed heal. And I think we'll be okay. Oh, also an awakening. We'll pick up a little bit of everything. Okay, so let's go get into this rival battle against YouTube. I think we should be fine. I think we're actually kind of a little overleveled for this battle, so we should be okay. But again, who knows what the rival's gonna have. So, 
We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I don't want to lose anyone. I really like this team. I love Ma. Uh, I love Maz. I love Maul. I love Dooku. I love Qui Gon. I don't want to lose anybody in this fight. So good luck, guys. Good luck. I think we trained up properly. Let's try. Let's try out Maul. I want to start off with Maul. I really want to start off with Maul. I think we'll have a good chance against YouTube here. All right, YouTube. Rematch time. Ugh. You're not gonna believe this! A Pokemon! It! It! Gah! And you challenge me to a battle like that? Ugh. Alright, Pokemon Trainer YouTube would like to fight. And they've got a Spearow. Awesome. So this shouldn't be too hard. I think Maul will be able to maul this thing to bits. So Maul, show them what you're made out of. Level 13. Oh boy. <laughs> we should slaughter this fight. We should really finish it. Oh, wow, look at that one hit KO. YouTube, you're done. You're done. This is over before it even started. Jinx. Yeah, like Jinx is going to be able to do anything to me. We've taken out Jinxes before, and we'll take out Jinx again. Get him, Maul. Oh, hypnosis. Of course, you got to cheese me like that. So you got to cheese me with the hypnosis. Putting Maul to sleep. I don't want to switch out yet. Uh, let's actually go ahead and use our Awakening here. Let's just get rid of this status right away. So that's item number one. And let's see what Jinx can do. Dream Eater! Oh, wow! We have, we outplayed that Jinx really well. That's weird, though. Hypnosis and Dream Eater. That's really weird. I really wonder how the randomizer randomizes movesets, because that seems like... That's really, really convenient. So, I don't know. Maybe if it's like Hypnosis, you also have a chance of having Dream Eater. I don't know. Okay, Raticate, the Faticate. I think Headbutt's gonna take this thing out really well, too. And another thing I like about this Stad Headbutt is the Flinch chance. Oh, wow, look at that. We have a chance of flinching basically everything. So, ah, oh, Maul taking out YouTube. Who cares if we have six Pokemon? We have Maul! Haunter. All right, maybe we do care after all. So the Stomp Fest is over here. Uh, Qui Gon. What did Qui Gon learn? Rock throw, right? Last episode. So Qui Gon or Dooku would be all right here. I'm gonna send out Qui Gon. So it doesn't have like Surf or something crazy. Because you know Maul, as good as Maul is, Maul can't touch Haunter. What did it use? I missed it. Heat Wave. Okay. Don't burn me. That's all I'm asking for. Heat Wave. Shadow Ball. Oh, no. This Haunter has some pretty strong moves, but again, because we're kind of leveled up... Oh, that special D-drop. That's annoying. Wow, we just dropped a rock right on its head and it's done! It's done! That Haunter is gone! Muck. I think we could stay in against Muck. We'll go for the Stomp. Try to stomp this thing. Hopefully get a flinch. Wow. Another flinch? Shell smash! Where's the shell on that thing? I don't see a shell anywhere! That does not look like a shell to me! That's so weird. Shell smash. Let's see, are we still gonna outspeed this thing? Probably not. Dragon Pulse. Let's hope- Oh no, let's hope that doesn't kill. I don't think so. Muck doesn't have really good special attack. I was just a little worried there because we had that special defense drop, and also it has some increased special attack. So depending on what the last Pokemon is, we might just switch out. Aerodactyl. Okay. Oh! Mega Aerodactyl! Wow, that's a flashback! The last time I fought one of these in a randomizer, it wiped me out. Okay. Hmm. So Mega Aerodactyl. Let's think about this one a little bit. I like... I kind of like Maz against this thing, although Maz is weak to it. Dooku's weak to it, so I don't want to send out Dooku. Qui-Gon's close to death, which is my only thing here. Qui-Gon's close to death, and Maul... Maul can't really hurt Mega Aerodactyl too much. Again, we only have potions, which is the problem. If we had a super potion, this would be so easy. I want to just use Rock Throw. Because I feel like if we can get the Rock Throw off on this thing, and it doesn't kill me with, like, something crazy, we should be okay. So let's go for Rock Throw. Double Team. Double team! Let's hope we don't miss. Yeah! Yeah! There we go! 
There we go, that's a fight. That is a clean fight. YouTube, we fought you with a vengeance. You feel a bit calmer now, your whole team is done. You just lost the Nuzlocke, buddy. Mega Aerodactyl though, that was an interesting Pokemon. <laughs> Deep breaths. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this, <gasps> the Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a, a Pokemon that talked. You mean like the Meowth? Was it a Meowth? Let's go heal up before we go up even higher. That was a great rival fight. That went perfectly. I'm so glad we didn't lose anybody there. I'm always worried when we fight those trainers with six Pokemon. And Nugget Bridge might be tough because we have to do five battles up here. And everybody's going to have like at least two Pokemon. So who knows what can happen here. But that was a really good rival fight. We are a little high leveled. That didn't look like your Sprite. That did not look like your Sprite. That looked a lot like a catfish. That's all I'm going to say. That... Not like the sprite. That's a pleasant surprise, but still, that did not look like your sprite. Anyway, we are a little high leveled, but it's all gonna even out because Misty, I think Misty's probably gonna have Pokemon in like the 20s. So, we could basically jump into the Misty fight without doing too much grinding, which is nice, because at some point we had to grind anyway. So if this is if this part's a little easier, I'm okay with that. Also, something I'm looking forward to here is we get two new encounters pretty quickly on this route. We'll get two new encounters, and that'll be great. Three Pokeballs. I love how trainers give you Pokeballs after defeating them in this game. And the money's also nice, too, because we need money. We're kind of broke. Now, if we see anything on the right side, uh, the left side, sorry, I don't know my directions. If we see any Pokemon on the left side over there, that's not going to be our encounter simply because we can't make it over there yet. That would be totally unfair if, like, we saw a Pokemon spawn, but we had to go through the rest of the trainers on the bridge and say, Oh, well, it's not there anymore, so you can't get a Pokemon here. No, that's not how I'm playing that. Oh, I love Maul. Maul is so good. Tauros is such a good Pokemon. And I love it because I've never really used Tauros before. Ride on. All right. So I know from my own experience that, you know, ride on against a normal type might be a little tough. However, however, let's give it a shot. Let's see what Maul can do. Let's see what Maul can do. It might be a three or four hit. Oh, wow, that's bad. <laughs> Dig. Okay. So we can use this opportunity to switch into Maz because I don't think Dig is going to do too much to me. Wish my Rhydon has Dig. That would be nice. Go on, Maz. Get him. Take that Dig. Take that Dig. Oh, look at that. That did nothing. And now we're gonna break this thing's nose right off with Brick Break! There we go. There we go. That was some good synergy there. And Maul's at level 17. I'm liking this. Too bad, Bird Keeper Alley. On to trainer number three, this little youngster over here. Here's number three. I won't be easy. Well, let's see about that. Let's see about that. Punk guy Timmy. Ooh. With Eradicate. Is it going to be a Faticate? Is it the Alolan? Oh, wow. I called that. I called that. Let's just headbutt that thing, just like we did with our rivals. YouTube is nothing, and your Eradicate, your Faticate isn't going to be anything either. Vice Grip, that's weird. Where are you getting the claws from? I don't see any claws on that thing. How is it doing that? Goodbye. Adios. And Pokemon number two is a Golbat. Golbat. It's too bad Crobat's not in this game. One of my complaints with Let's Go is I wish at least... I, I mean, I understand if it's only Kanto Pokemon. But I at least wish that they would give the Pokemon that evolve in other generations their evolutions here. So, like, I think Leafeon, Glaceon, Crobat, uh, what else? Like, Electivire, those should be in this game. That would be really nice. It would really enhance some of the Kanto region Pokemon. Three Pokeballs. Alright, now on to trainer number four. I'm number four, getting tired? No, no way, you guys are easy. This is child's play. Fisherman Relive. Alakazam, okay, well, if, as long as we outspeed it. Is that shiny? Wow, shiny Alakazam looks beautiful in this. 
Shiny Alakazam looks so nice. I never really realized how nice Shiny Alakazam looks, but if we outspeed it, which we do, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Maul is getting to a point where its health is getting kind of low, and that can be scary, but I think we should be okay. And Venusaur. I was kind of expecting it to be a Mega Venusaur, but Headbutt should be another two-hit KO here. Uh, it's nice finally having, like, an easy episode. Don't crit. No, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm glad Headbutt can't miss. So imagine how bad that would be, like, missing Headbutt here and then just losing. That would be the worst, just losing Maul to a random trainer. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna switch out of Maul now. Maul is doing great, Maul is doing a lot of work. That Headbutt is so strong. But, let's see. Dooku and Qui-Gon, I feel like they're just too much right now for anybody on this bridge, so I want to use Maz a little bit more. And this is number five. They're gonna stomp me. I know a little bit about stomping. Beauty Kevin. This is so weird. Dodrio. Hmm. I don't think... Let's say worst case scenario. This thing is Drill Peck. I don't think Drill Peck is gonna one-shot me at this point. So I will go for Headbutt. I should outspeed it. And we might even flinch it here. Vice Grip. Why does everything have Vice Grip? I think it was like that last episode, everything had Stealth Rock. This episode, everything has Vice Grip. Just imagine a Dodrio using Vice Grip. Like, imagine like two of the heads closing together like a claw, and that's where the attack comes from. And I guess the third head, it just like, it just, it chills, you know? They alternate heads. Sometimes when it uses Vice Grip, it holds one of the heads back, and that one gets to just relax and watch the other two heads do the work. Oh, and there's Drowsy with the fingers. Look at those fingers. Look at it go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, nice. We got the flinch. Let's break off those fingers with Brick Break. Let's give it the quick attack. Why have you got to be like that, Drowsy? Why do you have to be like that? That's terrible. That's so rude. That is so rude. Whoa, too much. Great balls. Yay. All right. So, this last trainer on Nugget Bridge, I'm not sure if the randomizer is going to give him six Pokemon. So, I'm just going to heal up just because I, you know, I wouldn't want to go in that battle, find out he has six Pokemon, and like, two of my guys are kind of weakened already. Worst case scenario, he has two, and we're healed up, and we're ready to go on to the next area. So, I mean, not a bad decision to do it here. Okay, here we go. Final trainer of Nugget Bridge. Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Ooh, we got a nugget. Thank you. We need the money. We really need the money right now. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? Absolutely, I would love to. That's right. We're a group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. I'm saying yes. I want to join. I want to join. I guess I missed this glitch in my video on Pokemon glitches because they don't let you join Team Rocket here. Hiker Grunt. Hiker Grunt. Ooh, Seedra. I think that's the first time we've seen a Seedra in this run. That would be a cool Pokemon to have. Seedra at level 12. Alright, so yeah, again, should not be a problem. Loving the Master Trainer battle theme, though. And Air Slash. That's weird. Might hurt. Ooh, yeah. Not too much, but hurts a little bit. Don't like it. Don't like it when you hurt my Pokemon, Hiker Grunt. That's why we're getting rid of your Pokemon. Seedra down, Ma's getting some EXP. Dooku's at level 24. Wow, Dooku is so high leveled. Probably not going to use Dooku for a little bit, because I think that level's way too high. Although Dooku doesn't really have great moves. His best fire move right now is Ember. And then he has Headbutt. Everything else on my team basically has Headbutt too. Cuts. Huts. All right, let's headbutt you out of here. Goodbye, Cubone. Such a cute little Pokemon. I wish there was a Alolan version of Cubone. Like, there really should be. There's a Alolan Marowak, but just imagine how cool an Alolan Cubone would look like, too. If it kept, like, the same color scheme. With your skills, you could be a top leader in Team Rocket. Think of the opportunity. Yes, 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 I want to join. Why won't you let me join? Ugh, so annoying. But anyway, here we go, encounter number two for the episode. Let's see what else we'll get here. Squirtle! Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. I love Squirtle. That's cute. That's really cute. So that's two starters now. We have we caught the Charmander, which was Dooku, and now we have Squirtle. 
Let's give it a berry, feed it well, and then, oh, well, we already have the great balls out. And then we'll throw a great ball at him. And we should have ourselves a Squirtle now. Hopefully this guy doesn't want to break out of the ball. I love it when they just get in on the first try. Aw, oh, come on, Squirtle. You know you're just going to give in and join my team anyway. Great throw. One, two, three, and... Squirtle, why are you like this, Squirtle? All right, let's give it another shot. Using all my berries and all my great balls on this thing, so it better get caught. There we go. Thank you, Squirtle. And now I'd like you to give a nice warm pokey tips welcome to Leia, the Squirtle on our team. But you know, now with Leia on our team, I think this is a great point to stop this episode. I'm feeling pretty confident with our team right now. We have Maz, Maul, Dooku, Qui-Gon, and Leia. Very well-balanced team. We don't really have a weakness leaning in one area anymore. I was really scared when it was just Dooku and Qui-Gon for a while, but now with these guys, we should be doing okay. And I think we're ready for any battles that just come at us, so... I think this is a great point to end the episode. Next episode, we will finish up this whole area, visit Bill, and potentially challenge Misty, and of course, get a new Pokemon, because there's another route right over there with some grass, so you know it'll be Pokemon time once again. So my friends, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll be seeing you guys in episode five.